You already know what it is, G-M-O-G, Media TV. Back with another one. Um, yeah, man, uh, just, just shout out to Kwame Brown, man. Um, I'm gonna be honest, like, of course, you know, Kwame Brown is, uh, the number one draft pick literally 20 years ago, um, back in 2001, and the media portrayed him as a bust, right? Number one draft pick, didn't live up to expectations. Matter of fact, the media, the media conditioned people like myself to think that he was the worst NBA bust of all time, which is not true. It's David Bowie, the guy who got drafted ahead of Michael Jordan. But anyway, my point is I believe that shit. And I want to apologize to Kwame Brown. I want to apologize to you. Because I believe the media. I didn't do my research. And I'm a researcher. I, I I fact check everything. But I didn't fact check you, brother. I didn't fact check you. And that's my fault. But over the past week, <laughs> I just discovered you. I This is my first time hearing you speak. Your mind. You're a very intelligent, brother. Insightful. Witty. You are able to break people down with intellect comedy facts you know and you have a very engaging personality man so i commend you for 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 uh after 20 years of just verbal violence shout out to jamel hill verbal violence for my brother Kwame brown you finally decide to you know what i'm saying reply back you know give that same energy to his naysayers for years and now they can't take it now they giving his brother cease and desist orders and talk about he clout chasing and talking about this and that and, and that and, and you know he need attention and he's sad or whatever the case may be they're trying to the media which our people like he's like like Kwame said our people um they're the ones that got these platforms but they're owned and controlled by the dominant white society they got these platforms and making it seem like they want to go ahead and portray this narrative of Kwame Brown and, and making it seem like he, he is what he's not. And they did that for 20 years. So shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. You know, I subscribed to your channel recently. You were at 33,000 when I subscribed. Now you at, you at over 100,000. That's what I call overnight sensation, man. My mama's cooking with the sprinkling. I love that shit, man. Hopefully you come with a podcast. Uh... We need we need brothers like you, you know what I'm saying, to to open our eyes and and, and speak that realness because we don't have a lot of uh, guys who speak that realness because of the fact that athletes, you know, you speak you you, you speak into a way where athletes got to do more than just uh you know be signed to corporations and and look good for other people. Let's 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 look good for our people. Let's look good for our people. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I, I, I really was one thing I resonated with the brother Kwame Brown was when he was talking about finding your peace. You know, he's a country boy, which is complete opposite of me. I'm not a country boy. Um, you know, I'm complete. I'm complete opposite. But I respect that. Uh, he finds his peace just being out in, in Georgia. And I got family in Georgia, Willie Coochie, Georgia. Shout out to Willie Coochie, Georgia. You know, what I'm saying. Um. He, he has, he finds his peace out there. He owns a lot of land out there and stuff like that. And he's he's good mowing the lawn, staying out in the country, stuff like that. That's his peace. And uh, my peace is this right here. You see my bike in the back? I'm out here in the morning by the beach. Um, about to get my cycle on. So my peace is, uh, I love cycling and I love the beach. I love cycling and I love the beach. Those those two right there, that's just can't top that. Outside, of course, my family, you know, my children. But this right here, this right here, you know, taking my bike out, riding by the beach, South Beach, whatever beach, but preferably South Beach. That's my piece right there, man. That's my piece. So you guys find your piece. What is your piece, man? And it's it's got to be something that 
is positive for you. You know, something that's going to better you. Finding your purpose, finding your peace, not not necessarily a purpose, which they go hand in hand. Finding your purpose, of course, is 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 uh, similar. But we're talking about your peace. What makes you calm? What makes you what takes you out of your element and just relaxes you? This is it right here. The next thing I want to definitely do is get a fucking get. Excuse me. Get a yacht. Get a yacht and, and um, be out on the sea and stuff like that. You know, that's my next thing. But this right here, just the cycling and, 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 and being by the beach and stuff like that. That is my piece. You know what I'm saying? That That's definitely my piece, man. And, um, you know, can't do, can't do no wrong with that. Can't do no wrong. Um, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, shout out to Kwame Brown, man. Um, the brother has just been an overnight sensation. Um, I haven't really seen anything like it. Uh, I haven't really seen anything like it in that aspect outside of uh, Kevin Samuels. Um, who of course, you know, has major success as well. So I, I, I commend my, I commend our brothers who weren't, who, who, who've been putting in work for years without getting the proper recognition. And Kevin Samuels and Kwame Brown are definitions of you put in the work for years without getting the proper recognition and they're finally getting that just due. Both have, both have. You know, Kevin Samuels, we've been making YouTube videos for years before he blew up. Uh, I've watched uh, older videos of Kwame Brown and he's been making YouTube videos for years before he got, before he blew up. Right, I've seen him. At, he had an interview with uh, Tommy Sotomayor last year, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Before he blew up. So these brothers, you know, it, it goes to show you that you put in, you put in the time, you stay consistent, you don't give up. I know that sounds cliche, and you'll be recognized. You know, and I believe that with myself as well too. You know what I'm saying? I had my, you know, my YouTube channel's been out since 2015. I'm still doing videos time to time, not as consistent as I want, but I still do videos and I and I believe I will be recognized. Blow up. I believe that. You know, I, I believe I'll be recognized uh sooner or later sooner or later. You know. So yeah, man, those are my thoughts on that family. <laughs> Leave your comments down below about the uh, Kwame Brown going against everybody, you know. Um Matt Barnes, Stephen Jackson, Jamel Hill, Stephen A. Smith, all his naysayers, all his distractors, Charlemagne the God, the Breakfast Club. He's going at everybody. I love it. He and he's taking them out one by one. Like Thanos, like Dark Side. <laughs> Shout out to my comic book fans. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. I I, I love it. Keep keep doing your thing. I'm waiting for that my mama's cooking podcast. Um, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Shout out to Kwame, man. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below. About to go cycling. Get about 20 miles in. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll see y'all on the next one. So until then, signing out.